so quite a while ago our flat got burgled. Um, quite a lot of the locks got busted up, including this one, which I've actually bent back into shape. Um, so the landlord went and changed all the locks, okay, that's cool. Um, and when he was changing this one, I saw all the bits and thought, uh, where's the rest of it? And he said, no, 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 that's, that's all of it. Okay, well, can I keep that? I want to understand how it works. Uh, and so uh, he said, yep, sure, and so he gave me all the bits. So this here is the entire bits of all the lock, with the exception of these screws for mounting it, but they don't they don't contribute to the functionality. So let's have a look at it. It's taken me a few minutes just to figure it out how it all goes, but this goes in here like so. So then that slides back with some forwards. Is that in view? Yes, good, okay. Um, so then we go and put this thing here. This here is when you feel turn the key and feel that clunk, that is um, this bit here uh, moving, which makes that happen. Okay. However, this is a lock where you can put the key in uh, both ways. You can have the bar there, or you can have the bar there. So, to handle that, we then have this piece here. And so then, um, actually, let's just demonstrate. No, no, I've, I've almost finished. Let's put the whole thing together. And then, this is the bit I keep on forgetting. That was it like that. I think I've got it not quite right there, but you'll see that uh, it it does uh, it does what it's supposed to do. So let's have a look at how that is actually working. So we'll pull out the key here, and so you notice that the key's got a certain shape, and that's fine. And we go and put it in the lock. Let's put it in this way here, okay? And then we turn the key. It pushes that thing, so it then releases the bar, and then it pushes the. Uh, it pushes the bolt across. Is that all in view? Yes, it is good. Okay, and then to go back the other way, we push the bar, and it goes the other way. Notice here that the shape of this has nothing to do with the security of it. It is, um, you could put a solid thing in there, and as long as it fits through the gap, it's going to unlock the lock. Um, so it does show you that these cheap locks, um, they are there to um, sort of give you a sense of security. Um, they stop someone from just wandering in, but they're not stopping someone who's actually uh, got any knowledge of how it works. So now let's go and actually put the whole thing together. Here we go. Okay, so now let's uh, try it out. So if I stick in the thing here, it doesn't go that way, it does go that way, fine. And if we go, I'm not sure which way I did it first. Oh, I have a lot, I have a jam. Okay, so let's work out why that's not working. Okay, so what have I done wrong here? So once again, we'll just quickly try it this way. That works fine. Okay, other than the spring popping off, I don't see what I've done wrong there. I wonder if uh, I wonder if the lid is interfering somehow. Okay, let's pop this back on again. Did I put it in an upside down first? It works. So now let's go and actually put the whole thing together. It's my first time doing this, so. Uh... Okay, there we go. Um, so let's pop this in. Okay, that works. That it works both ways. So, and you notice that cannot be pushed in. Uh, and it'll be flush, so I can't pull it out. There we go. That is one working lock. That's really interesting. Can't believe that it would be so simple and so ineffective. But then, uh, when it's just a ro uh, room door, bedroom door lock, it's not totally uh, surprising. So the question I'm going to pop to everyone now is, does this surprise you? And does it bother you? Uh, bear in mind that this is not a front door lock. This is purely for bedroom doors in a flat, flatting situation. Oops. 
Mm. Anyway, um, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, see you next time.